So let's review the different materials available and types of rivets. So this is a structural rivet. This particular rivet is steel and steel. The mandrel is steel and the hat is steel. And this is what they call a blind rivet. These three are aluminum rivets. These are just typical pop or blind rivets. And we also have what we call a white rivet with aluminum mandrel. So here's the mandrel and that's the white hat. So when you put the, put the uh, rivet in and complete it, all you're gonna see is a white finish, like, like for a white soffit or a brown soffit. So they come in different colors depending upon the finish um, that you're installing them in. There's also, these are zinc rivets. These are large flange. You can see here the large dome flange on this hat. So it covers more surface uh, when you're installing the rivet. Sometimes you need more surface. You're holding a larger piece of the material. These are um, copper brass rivets. The mandrel is brass and the hat is copper. However, the mandrel is actually steel with a plating, a brass on top of it. These are 100% copper rivets. A lot of roofers use these rivets for flashing, many other applications, soffits, um, downspouts, so many different applications for the brass. These are stainless blind pop rivets. I have several different types. And this is what we call a closed end pop rivet. You can see here the back is square and solid. So these are waterproof. So if you install these in a water application, these will not leak or, or build water up inside the, the tubular part of the rivet. These are also stainless countersunk pop rivets. So you'll see that there's a, I believe it's a 33 degree uh, hat on here. So when you install this rivet, it'll be flush with the material. These are installed in a lot of things like tracks that you're putting a rail in or something along that that you just don't want any type of head sticking up. And then we have what we call multi-grip rivets. With multi-grip, they're based upon increments of two. So a multi-grip will go from 42, 44, and 46. So it'll cover three different lengths. And that's why they call them multi-grip rivets. A rivet is measured by the installation thickness of the material you're going to be installing it in. So if you're installing two pieces of metal together, to select the correct rivet, you need to measure the thickness of those two materials together. At that point, you would have the total amount of product that you're gonna be gripping to fasten together. When you receive your rivets, don't take a tape measure and measure from this point to this point. That's not going to be correct. You're going to find it. It's going to be about an eighth of an inch to three sixteenths of an inch longer than what you purchased. So the correct way would be to get one of these babies. Okay. This is called a rivet measuring tool. And to find your correct measurement that you want to measure a rivet. So it has all the, the sizes on the side here, which are gauge, okay? So they go from size three all the way up to size eight. So I'm gonna to try to stick it in a hole, it won't go into a three, but it goes right into a four. So we know its diameter is a number four, 
And then we're going to be looking for length. It won't fit into this. This is where you find out the length. So it's the second one. And it comes in right at 44. So this is a 44. 44 and 4 being the diameter and the next 4 being the length. It can come in 42, 44, 46, 48, all dependent upon the amount of material you're going to be gripping. And that's basically how you measure a rivet. You do not measure a rivet with a ruler. So I'm going to install several rivets. Um, the first one I'm going to install is this copper rivet with the standard rivet tool, hand tool. Mandrel goes in to the tool first, like this, all the way in. I'm going to place it. I'm using a piece of uh, structural steel. This is just for demonstration. I pre-drilled the holes already. And then you just put it in and you squeeze it until you get the snap. And that baby's installed. This is a closed end rivet. So I'm gonna install one of these right now with the standard river gun. Pushed it in. Bam. One thing I would uh, caution you on is to drill the correct size hole for the rivet. The rivet should have no slack when you drill a hole. It should be tight right against the rivet. Actually, you should force the, uh, the rivet in place a little bit. It should just be like friction fit. I'm going to install now a white rivet. And I'll turn this around when I'm done later. And you can see the finish and, and the back. And that's what you get after you pop the rivet. You get the broken mandrel. It cuts the mandrel right off. We install a black rivet. I'm sorry, a brown rivet. You can see it pretty easy. This is no force, you know. Don't have to struggle with it. This is a stainless steel. A lot of people call me and they say, Hey Bob, why is it is it harder to install stainless steel? I'm gonna show you right now. It's not harder, it's the same thing. Snapped off. It's installed fine. It's a little bit more resistant, but you know it's not any different from putting anything. This is the multi-grip. I've never used one of these myself, but here's the first time. So it's double pull. So it keeps pulling it in. And you can see in the back here, there it goes. So it's a double action. You have to um, push the lever twice. Um, I'm going to twist this around for you so you can see the finished product. Okay, there is the, uh, that's the front. They're all finished, they're all in there very well. And then I'm gonna show you the back. And that's the side that you wouldn't see. Uh, that's why they call them blind rivets. Because the back side, uh, you put them into a hole that you're trying to fasten two pieces, you can't get to the back of it with a, you know, with a nut and try to hold it while you put a screw in. This is the perfect application. And um, there you go. Bam. Spinning. When you go to drill it out, there you go. Another way is to take a piece of tape, 
push it on the surface. And then start your drilling. Go to the center and start your drilling. Apply your pressure. So I want to check if it's going to spin on me here. Yep, there you go, spinning. I'm going to take a piece of duct tape. Will even be better than blue tape if it's stubborn and it wants to spin out on you. You can't get enough pressure on it. Take a piece of duct tape. Put that baby on there. Find the center. Out it goes. Take your duct tape off and the rivet is gone.